kids, you will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct. I promise. Hi, my name is Sam. Hi, I'm Amy. And we are part of the Youth Services Department here at the Tualatin Public Library. And we're here to share story time with you because we love reading books and we love sharing rhymes. And so we're going to do some of that. And we miss seeing your faces. So this is the best we can do until we get back together in person. And without further ado, should we share one of our favorite books? Let's do it. All right. Okay. We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins, another favorite author of both Sam and I's. Yeah, is that the guy? That's the guy who wrote uh, Mother Bruce, right? Yeah, he oh, did all the Mother Bruce. So funny. Okay. Oh, we got some artwork on our end papers. Like nice end papers. Nice end papers. We Don't Eat Our Classmates. Hey, kids! You will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct. I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. Penelope. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack, backpack with ponies on it. Cute. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. <laughs> Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches. That's a lunch right there. And one apple juice. <laughs> Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were children. Uh oh. <laughs> so she ate them because children are delicious. <laughs> Penelope Rex said Mrs. Noodleman, we don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. <laughs> so she did. And they're all covered in goo. <laughs> it was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. <laughs> she even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. <laughs> Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. Oh. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well... Maybe sort of, just a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. <laughs> you see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. <laughs> that gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amoto again. And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp! <laughs> poor Penelope. <laughs> cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. <laughs> Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. 
Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her and licks his lips. <laughs> because dinosaurs are delicious. <laughs> and that's the story of, we don't eat our classmates. That's a good one. <laughs> don't eat your classmates, kids. <laughs> <laughs> First rule of life kindergarten. Lessons. Yep, life lessons. Yeah. Hey, Sam. Hey, what? I have an original Amy knock-knock joke. Oh, an original. Whew, I'm ready. I mean, I don't remember reading it, so I don't think I've stolen it. Forgive me if I have. <laughs> we will properly attribute it if you let us know that it is your knock-knock joke. Yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Butterfly. Butterfly who? Butterfly fast or you'll never catch me. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you have to do that for B story. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, now we're gonna do what may well be my very favorite song to do in story time because it is ridiculous. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, the one thing you want to keep in mind is you probably need a splash guard if you're doing this <laughs> song with people who are not part of your immediate family, because yes. there might be spitting. <laughs> so I, I will not face her in any direction. <laughs> I will not her. face that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is called the uh, My Three Cornered Hat, and it goes like this. It goes, my hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Okay, now for the fun part. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, now we're gonna go hat like this. But instead of saying the word hat, we're gonna go. Are you able to do that? <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, all right. So get your fart sounds ready. Here we go. It goes like this. My. It has three corners. Three corners has my <laughs> And had it not three corners, it would not be my <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's not enough though, right? No, 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 we no, like that's too much fun. Super silly the <laughs> so this time, instead of saying corners, we're gonna say <laughs> Okay, can you do that? <laughs> nice, okay, two syllables. <laughs> okay, so let's try it. Goes like this. My <laughs> it has three <laughs> Three has my <laughs> and had it not three, it would not be my. <laughs> that's it, right? No, that's not oh, it. No. I bet you the folks at home can see where we're going. Oh my goodness! Okay. Now we're gonna replace three with. So pretty much you're going oh <laughs> the whole time with just a few articles yes. and things in there. So. All right. Okay, let's try it. Last verse. My <laughs> it has. <laughs> As my <laughs> and had it not, it would not be my. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, let's wipe the spit off our faces. <laughs> Get ready to do more serious. <laughs> all right, I am going to share one of my all-time favorite story time books. Um, this is a book about. Uh, cat that I bet many of you are familiar with. His name is Pete the Cat. Okay, so George? Uh, not George. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> it is Pete the Cat. And, uh, and there's a whole series of books about Pete. Um, this was the first one. This is the original, written by Eric Litwin, illustrated by James Dean. It's called Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. And it goes like this. A whole bunch of shoes. This is published by Harper, an imprint of Harper Collins. <laughs> Lovely. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love, I love, I love, I love my white shoes. <gasps> oh no! Pete stepped in a giant pile of strawberries. Yellow. What color did it turn his shoes? Red? Red, I think. Ah, yes, red. Very good, red, did Pete cry. Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool. 
It's a very groovy cat. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love, I love, I love, I love my red shoes. <gasps> oh no! Where is he walking? Pete stepped in a giant pile of blueberries. <laughs> what color did it turn his shoes? I think blue. Excellent! Yes. <laughs> Kit is on it. Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. Okay, sing it with me. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love, I love, I love, I love my blue shoes. Oh, no. Pete needs to look where he's going. <laughs> Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. And what color did it turn his shoes? Brown. Yeah, brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love, I love, I love, I love my brown shoes. Oh, no! Happened again. Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all of the brown and all of the blue and all of the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? I don't know. They were white, but now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song, Rock and Roll. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love, I love, I love, I love my wet shoes. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> the moral of Pete's story is this. No matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. <laughs> that is Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes by Eric Litwin, illustrated by James Dean. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We sure had a great time doing story time for you today, and we hope you'll join us again soon. We miss you, and we hope to see you in person at the library as soon as we can. So we're going to finish out with one of my favorite chants that we do at every preschool story time. Are you ready, Sam? I'm so ready. Okay. First, you're gonna make an alligator. Okay. See you later, alligator. Okay. Then you're gonna be a butterfly. Okay. Bye bye, bye, -bye. butterfly. Butterfly. Then you're gonna give yourself a hug. Give a hug, ladybug. ladybug. Then you're gonna make yourself a little bird. <laughs> be sweet, parakeet. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> okay, I love to do my fingers this way, and Sam's gonna do them an easier way. Uh, Cause I do not have the manual dexterity. But this <laughs> one is, See you soon, raccoon. <laughs> okay, now you're cold. You're cold. Take care, polar bear. And finally, my favorite, out the door, dinosaur. We'll see you real soon. Bye. Classic. Do you, when you do this one, do you have a tune that you sing? I. My um, daughter's school did a version of this, uh -huh. and as a musical, so I have that song stuck in my head. Can you can you sing it? Yeah, as it's I start, this weird sort of jazz thing. I love my white shoes. 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 Do you want to do one? No. Because <laughs> I don't think I can pull that off. I'll probably just do it. I usually like chant it. I go, I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love, I love, I love, I love my white shoes. But it's not a song. <laughs> but I feel like he's like playing a guitar and it should be a song. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, sorry. Oh, I got all of that. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm sure some of it will end up in the final cut. Okay.